Now we want to take a look at respiratory control and the effect of ADP on the uptake of oxygen by isolated mitochondria. So this is looking at um, an in vitro experiment and we're understanding the relationship between ADP and the uptake of oxygen. So I'll start out with a question and that is if you have increased oxygen do you have increased or decreased ATP? And the answer is you have increased ATP. Uh, and this is because if you don't have enough ADP, your level of O2 consumption will decrease. Why? Because you have enough ATP. So as ADP levels decrease, O2 O2 consumption will decrease. Take a look at this graph. We can see here, you can look at how oxygen is decreasing with the addition of ADP. And when um, ADP is exhausted, then we see uh, that there's, then there's less oxygen that is taken in. Well, I may be getting a bit confused here, but I think it's quite easy to see that as, um, I think I made a mistake earlier, but as ADP is increasing, so is the, uh, so is the oxygen. And that is because we're, we are uh, going to uh, uh, make uh, ATP. Mm, well, maybe some confusion here, but things that we can be sure of is that the effect of ADP on the uptake of oxygen uh, by isolated mitochondria, some things are clear here, is that if you don't have enough ADP, your level of O2 consumption will decrease. Um, but uh, if you increase the level of ATP, your respiration can continue. So as ADP levels decrease, oxygen consumption will decrease.